What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Show back with another video, and today I'm talking about the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, I just ended up buying the game. I bought it for the Black Friday sale. It was $40. I kept hearing so many good things about it. I really wanted to try it. Uh, normally, I don't like buying games like this because, uh, for one, $40 is a lot of money for me. I like to value my money, and I do a lot of research before I actually depend on getting the game. Now, obviously, Guardians of the Galaxy has they have been a pretty big hit ever since they started getting the MCU movies, and I gotta say, the MCU movies of Guardians of the Galaxy are probably one of my some of my favorite ones. Um, it's a very selective list. Um, stuff like Black Panther and Thor Ragnarok for sure was a really good one, and then the Guardians of the Galaxy movies are all probably in my top five MCU movies, but. The main thing I really loved about seeing the Guardians of the Galaxy is the chemistry, you know, the banter. They're kind of like friends that like to like to joke on each other. And it's really, really a good, you know, fun, kind of family, family-friendly atmosphere. Um, plus, the soundtrack is always amazing. They always playing, like, the really good, you know, older songs. And it has an amazing soundtrack. So, I decided to actually, you know, research a little bit about this game. Because, like I said, I am a fan of the Guardians of the Galaxy because of the movies. Um, I didn't know them prior to the movies, so I've been playing for a while, and I'm not completely through the game yet, but I just want to talk about it uh, for right now, because I think it's basically a game where I need to talk about a lot of different things about it, but I'm not going to make this video too long. I just want to start off by saying that if you haven't bought this game, and you're looking at Black Friday sale and just kind of wondering whether I should buy it for dollars, I think this is definitely worth $60 in my opinion. Um, at least to the notion that I feel like a lot of games in today's sphere really killed value for us. Because a lot of games today are live series, and I'm not going to continue on the tangent. I was going to say this last point. A lot of games kind of ruin it because, you know, you can spend like 100 hours in a live service game and not really enjoy it. I just have a lot of problems with it and stuff. And, you know, if you'll pay 64 that, you should be able to pay 64 a game that's going to be about 20 something hours. You know, just as far as that base game, just 20 something hours because it's a great story. Um, it started off being really good. I'm not even gonna lie, it started off good. Everything kind of got me immersed in the story. I actually care for the characters. At first, I thought it was like it was gonna be okay, you have knockoff versions of the Guardians of the Galaxy because my, my version of Guardians of the Galaxy is the one from the the movies. You know, that's my version. And why they do kind of feel like slightly altered versions of these of those characters. These Guardians of the Galaxy are a lot more experienced, you know, they've been through war, basically they've had a lot of different adventures together and stuff, and it just feels different, but definitely not different in a bad way. The game itself, like I said, makes you feel about the characters like they were your home friends. Uh, they constantly joking on each other, and it's just an, an awesome atmosphere. A lot of the games will rely on good gameplay and story to kind of fill in those gaps with the silence you know you can be going around exploring the ship or something but while you're doing it with Guardians of the Galaxy every moment feels uh like a movie every they're always talking and stuff and it you would think it would get kind of irritating but it doesn't it's all light banter and stuff and riffing on each other so it's all really great fun if I were to slide over into combat real quick combat is combat to me is okay I don't I don't feel like it's as good as Spider-Man's combat like Miles Morales, I really love the combat in that. I just feel like I can go and play the game for days just off the combat. But in general, it's pretty cool. Um, you have upgradable abilities and stuff. You have different costumes as you can equip. I only have two so far, which are I think purchased with the game. Like I really thought that you know the gameplay was gonna be bad. I saw some videos where I was basically talking about how it could be repetitive, or whatever. And I get that. But for me right now, it's pretty fresh. I'm a good little ways into the game. Um, but it's pretty fresh for me. Um, I like the idea. You can actually do a lot of damage. There's actually talk, they actually talked about how Starlord's guns really don't do much damage. But you can actually do a uh, quite amount of damage if you learn how to combo them right. That's a really cool aspect of the gameplay. Also, the difficulty settings are amazing. You can basically select custom difficulty. So if you feel like you're not doing enough damage, you can basically up the damage yourself. Or decrease the damage you take so basically it provides a interesting difficulty choice let's talk about the story and yes it's not a review because i'm just talking about how i played the game and i loved it the story for me was started off fantastic um even from seeing young peter quill and stuff and you know it flashed very quickly to the guardians of the galaxy i would have really loved to see more 
on his backstory, which, you know, I haven't finished the game, so there's probably more to be seen, but it's very clear that the Guardians have history together. Um, I really love the Telltale aspect of the game. That's really, really fun. Like, the choices could matter. Like, have slight differences in what, what happens to you. Because I'm going to be honest, it's going to add some replay value. To, to, to me, it's going to add a lot of replay value. Because there were actions that I've chose where I felt like, okay, they really actually mattered. And maybe it wouldn't happen differently even if I chose a different way. So, I definitely feel as though the game itself is well polished. It's a good game. I'll definitely go and buy it. I've had a ton of fun playing it, and I'm honestly excited to get done with work today and just go back and play some more. So with that being said, guys, like, subscribe. Let me know if you play Guardians of the Galaxy. Do you like the movies and the soundtrack? Obviously, you like the soundtrack. But do you like the game? Are you enjoying it? How far have you been into the game? And I'll see you guys next video. King of